Hey Heretics, it's your boy the Warp Forge here. I've got this large script and I'll hopefully be pinned somewhat on the rails to this script, but I could divulge at any moment. I can oh, obviously tangent, but this is just to make me keep on track. I hope everyone's had a good holiday period, a good New Year's. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? 2022. There's been a lot we've all went through and well, I'm certainly no exception. So I'm just basically gonna ramble for a bit, 2022, and see where it, get, where it gets us. So at the start of the year, it looked promising. I was making content as well, as I do speak my mind on a lot. But after a few months, the channel started to slow down again. And there have been many reasons for this. This year, or 2022, has been a year filled with self-reflection for me, coming to terms with a lot of personal challenges with this hobby. I love 40k and I love Batman. I can be quite protective at some points. That's because I don't really do much outside this hobby. I do write a little, I do interact with people, but this is my main way of interacting with people. This is the hobby that I've chose to invest most of my time in, if not all my time. <laughs> So why do I spend a lot of time with this hobby? This hobby is basically for me an opportunity and it's an opportunity to tell stories in a setting I have essentially grown up with from my adolescence onwards and can reflect many stories I make in a hobby art form from convert my models to how they are painted and telling their story to other like minds as well as sharing that story in games of many varieties and this is to me one of the most enticing and energizing parts of the hobby however the hobby does have its limits and one of those limits is severe burnout i have a variety of reasons for burnout the first half can be disillusionment with the hobby the painting and building side are a good way to spend a few hours from the screen and tune out currently i'm listening to some more audiobooks i've just uh, finished prospero burns i believe it's a thousand suns half i'm reading the space wolf space wolf Space Wolf, half right now, and while getting projects done, but my main flaw is I am a master of stringing myself too thinly and applying too much pressure to myself. Mentally, I often make deadlines for myself, and when I don't meet those deadlines, I really do punch down hard on myself, so to speak, and this can lead to very self-destructive behaviours and attitudes. For many people, they just have the hobby process of building, painting and gaming, with some stories to tell within the hobby projects. But for me, I also have this channel, and I consider this channel part of my hobby too. It is, to me, the fourth part of my hobby that not many other people do have. I've had this channel since 2012. Yes, if you date back, it's the 1st of April. I know, I know, I know what you're gonna say in the comments. All those April 1st jokes, hey hey. But, I digress. My issue is that I build myself in it into an infinite loop. When I'm making a video like this right now, I'm thinking I could be building models, I could be painting models, I could be recording painting models and such and so forth. When I'm building and recording myself building and paint models, I'm thinking why aren't I editing or what I've already started? And people can already see how this dev well, devolves into a very crushing loop of never getting anything done. I want to make the best quality videos I can because I want to show off the potential of certain games like Batman or armies like Night Lords in 40k. Everything I want to achieve is a labour of love and I want that to show my content, but this can be a very stifling and isolating experience. The monotony of building, say 20 possessed, can leave you with a lot of isolation it can the monotony of doing the same thing over and over and over again and i'm not talking about like just building in general but i mean building the same model making like say you know 120 creeks and bodies i haven't done that but you get the picture the monotony and trying to listen and trying to tune out and just do it as it is without being able to talk to other people or sat around a table just talking people to face to face and just having a bit of banter you know it's uh it can be very isolating a lot of folks tell us how connecting and interactive this community can be and they're certainly not wrong but there is often another side for folks that you do not see if you're in this hobby then you know that this is a time intensive hobby and when you're on your own as i've just stated it can be a very isolating experience when you're sit doing the same monotonous tasks of building those you know 20 chaos space marines or 40 chaos space marines such and so forth 
And for me, when I am painting and listening to my audiobooks, I often find my mind wandering to a lot of variety of places and topics that can be a very lonely place for me. I can be glad that I have found friends and brought friends into this hobby, both online and in real life folks like the folks at Let's Make It Orky. But when you're sat there knowing you're not working fast enough to get things done, the pressure builds up and it just burns you out, sacrificing your day for a better tomorrow that still hasn't happened yet. And to put that into perspective, I really tried hard since what start of 8th end of 7th start of 8th I really started to push my night lords and start building my night lords and it's taken me 5 years 5 years worth of me sacrificing today for a better tomorrow I always keep saying the horizon's on the end and right now it is which I'll get into in, into a bit in a bit but that's been my life for the past five years, constantly rebooting my Night Lords over and over and over again to make it look truly unique, to get these Night Lords to look the part of the of legitimate Night Lords rather than just some, you know, fine cast and Forge World just tacked on. And not and there's no sly shit going towards the Forge World stuff. The Forge World stuff is nice, but I really need to get them to look like 40k Night Lords. I want them to look like gothic horror monsters that you'd look forward to taking down in a purge campaign. You get the drift. At the start of 2022, I bought a ton of camera gear to bring the gaunt to fruition. And yeah, I bought a lot of stuff. I need to finish up and buy a few more things, but right now I'm just focused on a few things right now. This came at the cost of many opportunities socially. We got as far as midway into the year before I just ground to a halt and my frame of mind was out of synchronization. It was just, I was out of my frame of mind. I was not in a frame of mind. After that, the days just kind of went by dreaming for a better tomorrow for my hobby. A lot of days went by when I just sat there gazing at other people's projects, not really focusing on my own because I was just that burned out with my energy, trying to build something and just not having it in me, you know? I know how that can be taken, you dirty fucks. I digress. <laughs> it's only been until recently where I had to concede that not every project I want to bring to this channel I can feasibly do in a realistic time frame. I wanted to repurpose my old models when I was younger into Red Corsairs and Iron Warriors because I thought they would be great hobby projects to show off, not only for myself but the opportunity would also provide more content for the channel. But when I already have my Night Lords to finish, as well as my Black Templars and Necrons to also get done, then I have my other games I own factions for like Doctor Who, Batman, Infinity, Malfoy Drops on Commander, or Dystopian Wars, such and so forth, the list goes on and on. I have to concede the fact that I could do all these projects in say, what, eight years time? It's just not practical and so next year I'll be reconsolidating, refocusing my efforts into games and games I am and will be playing. Mainly Batman 40k, I also have some Lord of the Rings and I'll be keeping my Malifaux and Doctor Who. And I'll be keeping those because I've got a whole Keras Force that I still need to build and paint up, as well as the Doctor Who, because I've invested so much into that game with so many factions, and I want to, even though it's an out of production game, I still want to show it off. The rest of the stuff I might be selling off. I might keep my Infinity, but that's it. I'll be keeping my painted red Corsairs, as I want to come back to that project, but like my Orcs, they'll be taking a major backseat until my other projects are done. Okay, so just as a massive disclaimer, this is where the video gets rather really personal. I'm touching on a few uh, sensitive subjects here, not really to do with the hobby side of things, but my personal life as well. Um, I'll try and timestamp a way around this if you don't really want to listen to it, but in all honesty, this is just to give explanations as to why additional factors have caused the channel to go, well, grind to a halt. Around the start of the autumn period, I was starting to get my hobby mojo back. I was converting extensive projects again, and I was sure to get my Night Lords done by the end of the year. Once that was done, in my mind, I could come back to making videos again, like battle reports and such, but personal issues arose which halted that goal in its tracks. Home life has not been easy in 2022. In the autumn period, my grandmother's Alzheimer's had taken a severe dive, and it put my grandpa in a lot of pressure. 
Due to that pressure, accompanied with that stubborn old wheel manage attitude that many elderly folks have, he fell ill. He got diagnosed with lung cancer and for the fourth time, and within two weeks he passed away. It is still felt to this day. And it turned a lot of home life upside down. I've had to readjust to a lot of home life to accompany to those changes. And folks who know me personally, I have, di yeah, I have difficulty adapting quickly to change. That's not to say I can't change or I can't adapt, but it takes me a lot longer than other people would. All of this has accumulated to a lot of slowing down the channel and presence online. I started posting on TikTok and that seemed to be going well but until home life occurred and had to slow down there. Likewise, I had to walk away from a lot of social media because quite frankly, it was not healthy for me to be there. I am active on Twitter and somewhat active on Facebook, but at least for 40k, I really, really dislike both platforms as they are two sides of the same coin producing very toxic personalities that has made me develop a never meet your heroes attitude to socialising on online platforms. Twitter to me is filled with a lot of vindictive personalities that want you to walk on a minefield of eggshells in some weird Hollywood, Los Angeles, mean girls, clique stereotype. While Facebook is filled with obtuse and ignorant personalities that feel dated back to the 1940s. Both leave me filled with an empty void no matter how much I use them and have me feeling very hollow and jaded with the community with in the context of the online sphere. That's not to say everyone's like that on those platforms, but it does feel as though the vocal minorities are heard most on these platforms through their cliques. I now use Discord and Instagram as my main accounts, as I feel as I can control what I see and who I can interact with on, on the basis of for social interaction. That's not to say I won't use Twitter or Facebook, but my use on those platforms is limited, purely for my own mental health. Uh, a lot of people on both platforms I just cannot deal with. There are a lot of people on uh, both platforms that just infuriate me. And that's just on that's just honestly my honest opinion. I don't wish to go further into it because this isn't me bitch meant to be a video bitching about Twitter and Facebook, but an explanation as to why my presence has been rather limited or quiet. The second half of my burnout can be attributed to current 40k. It is no secret the 9th edition has been the most divisive and to date controversial editions. And it really is. It's not like 6th and 7th edition where they were universally condemned as really bad editions. But neither is it this paragon of a golden age of gaming like a lot of influencers and competitive folk like to parrot in your face about. My personal disillusionment really comes from the power creep and the direction that 40k has taken in respect to its power creep. This is something I wish to look at in full detail on a full video looking at 9th edition in retrospect. Originally I wanted to make a video of what 9th edition has missed but I felt as though the reasons why I wanted to make that video were a bit more mean spirited than I wanted to bring. For a video that I want to talk about the balance of 40k and 9th edition in respect, I wanted to bring more impartiality to the subject as I find more folks are willing to engage and discuss a subject when you don't have an agenda behind said video and thus that is what I plan and aim to do. So what is the plan going forward? Well I've never given up on this channel nor do I want to. I still want to continue making content for this channel on multiple platforms. However, in order to turn things around and make the best content I can, then for the future of this channel I will be going a bit more quiet. This channel won't be going away or getting archived or anything extreme like that, but it will now be officially going quiet until I have my Night Lords fully built and painted as well as some more Batman done. Once they are done, I'm hoping to get filming down with battle reports, army showcases, painting, conversion tutorials, story time, lore bits for my specific warbands and such and so forth. Already, I have recorded a conversion tutorial for my Night Lords themed obliterators and I want to film a painting tutorial for some Mr. Freeze henchmen for the Batman miniatures game. I also have a ton of unboxing vid videos that I have been recording and slowly getting through for the Batman miniatures game as well. 
With rumours of 10th edition 40k on the horizon, I also want to make a topical video about 9th edition in retrospect and 40k balance overall as I've previously discussed. I have also been looking out for artists to make me PNGs of my characters for my 40k armies to play around with PNG tubing for the hobby and to play around with and have some fun there to make my commentary content more interactive. I'd also like to make hobby progress videos where I ramble about the models I have been working on on a weekly basis but most probably like a monthly basis but again we'll wait and see if I pull off those videos because again I just need to I need to actually get it done and I think everyone can agree getting models done getting them well yeah getting the models done helps the channel and it makes the channel because that's what this channel is about <laughs> yeah so yeah that's been 2022 in a nutshell for me it's been a hard year but hopefully 2023 will be the turnaround year for this channel and I can get some consistency on making videos back on track to bring the best Night Lords and Batman content I can bring for YouTube. Until then, this is the Warp Forge signing off and remember folks, keep on forging.